Hey guys, today I want to show you my new binder and I wanted to tell you guys that this binder is worth buying. So I'll go over the regular binders and their prices. So this binder, a monster binder, cost about, um, let's say, I think it costs around $30, $35 at my locals. So I'm going off my local price. Monster binders are really good binders. They are um, lighter, they feel better, they're they just are better binders than Ultra Pro. That being said, Ultra Pro is cheaper. Ultra Pro is normally $10. Actually, I should take out this card to talk about this card. This card actually is very interesting. So I got it back and I did over trade for it. I traded two Nisas for this card. This card is worth about $30 right now. I traded 60 into it because I, um, I, knew, I knew I traded 60 into it because I, this is the Nisa I this is the Narset I pulled and I traded it for away for 90 so I was like okay whatever like it's worth 30 but I'll trade 60 into it because I felt bad and then I'll explain about trade ethics so ultra pro binders are around um, they are around twenty dollars at locals they can be up to twenty five dollars depending on if they have artwork on them and stuff. I think the regular ones are 20, the ones with the magic artwork are 25. Ultra Pros, I like, I like it as a everyday binder, meaning that it's not a fancy, I wouldn't put fancy cards into it. I wouldn't put anything like too ridiculous. Like these cards are just kind of like cards that I would use every day. And so Ultra Pro is definitely a card or binder I recommend you use. I used to have a two system binder where I put all the good cards in Monster and then all the kind of good cards in Ultra and the Ultra Pro and then really not bulky cards I just donate. Like I'll show you some more donations I'm probably going to make soon. But this new binder, this is the BMW version or whatever. <laughs> and this new binder actually is a lot better for if you don't want to trade your cards, cards away. So there's plenty of cards that I own that I don't necessarily want to, um, I don't know if you can see, like, yeah, you can't see the whole page, but that I don't necessarily want to trade away. And this binder pretty much does the best job at doing that. Meaning the worst case scenario I have is where I don't really, I have cards in my binders that I don't trade. And I hate when people do that to me. I hate, Maybe I'll zoom out a little bit more so you guys can take a look at it. I hate when people do that to me and so I try not to do it to other people when you have a binder and the stuff in it is not for trade but you kept it in the binder for safekeeping. And this happens to me very often and this is a way to store your cards and not bring them to your Friday Night Magic and not bring them to your trade binder and not have that much value where you cannot trade for it. Like, you know, oh, hey, is this a uh, blood crypt for trade? Nope, not for trade. Then why did you bring it, right? <laughs> Something like that. So I need to get some more fetch lands. I don't necessarily have enough of those right now. These are the fast lands, fast lands. Anyway, this binder is fantastic. It is $28.99 locals or pretty much $32 worth Texas tax. And $32 is not bad at all um, for this type of binder. And this binder, I very much view as this is the best way to show off your collection. Like, Tassigurs, like, they're very good time to pick them up. Maybe I'll make a speculation video. I'm not a big fan of making speculation videos, but that's all you guys kind of want. Uh, Huntmasters, uh, green cards, voices, tamios and then other cards in the bottom. So this binder, a four by four binder, holds more cards. It has actually a zipper. It is more expensive, so it's, actually it's cheaper now that I think about it than a monster binder normally is. Uh, you can get it online for very little amount of money, but again, support your local game store. I mean, otherwise, like, you don't have a place to play. Like, if you're not buying this merchandise from, if you're buying all your merchandise and cards online, then you have to assume your game store eventually is going to uh, go belly up because no one's buying anything, right? Like, 
how can you assume otherwise? Anyway, this is uh, the 4x4 binder. I love it. Um, I'm probably just going to buy this type of binder from now on. It just feels good too. Um, you don't need to take it to FNM. You can put you can take your Ultra Pro or your Monster binders to FNM. This binder is for the non-tradable stuff. So I love, love, love this binder. Bye guys.